congeniality, collegiality, two very close sounding terms. We bring the distinction in the book and we talk about the difference. The culture of education is kind of based on this congenial sort of relationship. We're congenial to each other as educators in the way that we support each other in our practice. Very rarely do you see a school where there, there is the kind of trust that teachers reach past being congenial to really going to the place of collegiality. Collegiality being in that we're having very distinct, purposeful, reflective conversations that are both uh, warm and cool. Conversations where we talk about strengths and weaknesses. Conversations where we push back on each other's ideas out of deep trust and respect. So in an in a online community of practice, or in, even in a face-to-face uh, -face learning community, we want to develop the kind of atmosphere that's not just congenial, we want to be congenial to each other, polite, cheerful, happy, supportive, but we also want to be collegial. We want to have a little bit thicker skin so that we can hold each other mutually accountable and be able to talk about both what we do well and use an appreciative approach to build on that, but also talk about thing areas that maybe need improvement and offer positive solutions for how we can do that. Being collegial really takes some practice and it takes an environment of deep trust. But um, thinking about both of those attributes and how they play out in the role of a connected educator is something that's a, an important distinction that we need to think deeply about.